Welcome to episode 3 of Modding Battle for Bikini Bottom. So this episode, we're going to be doing texture modifications, which a lot of people probably want to see. If you haven't watched the other videos though, I definitely recommend you do, otherwise you might be extremely lost on what's going on. So in the other videos, you'll see that we extracted um, the boot hips and hops and the hub hips and hops. We're going to be using the boot one for this video, and we're actually going to be opening up a new program we have not opened yet. So open magic.tdx times 64. This is the 64-bit version. If you don't have a 64-bit machine, you could find the program's 32-bit download, but I mean, everyone has 64-bit machines. It's 2017. If you don't, like, don't mod this game. <laughs> so we're going to open up a file now. This is so exciting. Press open. Now you're going to be going into the, um, the BFBB mod file. Go to our boot, hips and hops. And if you go into our fresh hips, you'll see nothing shows up. What's wrong? Don't worry, choose any file. And now you have the power to open any RWTX file you want. These are all texture files. RWTX is like the game's texture thing. So we don't actually want to open one of these directly though. We're going to copy one over. So I'm going to edit the Tiki Wooden and we're going to put it into our modded hips and we're going to paste it. Because remember, we only want to modify stuff in our modded hips area because it makes it so much easier to see what you modded already. So open up your wooden Tiki thing and you'll see that you have the texture for the wooden Tiki right before your very eyes. How cool is that? You're looking at the game's core files that a developer worked on in 2003 some artist like made it and someone else uv mapped it that's so cool so the file itself is 64 by 64 pixels which is so small it's ridiculous but whatever we're going to go to export now export the png to our desktop so now you have a wooden tiki png it's fucking sick we're going to use Photoshop to edit it, but you can just right click and edit it with paint if you want to do it that way. I use Photoshop though, because I'm not a Neanderthal. And while that opens up, I recommend you make a folder called PNGs inside your BFB mod area where you can store all your PNGs just for organization once again, because I like to stay organized. It's just something computer scientists do. So now we have our texture, and you can do whatever you want to it. I'm going to do just a really simple um, hue and saturation change. I'm going to make the tiki like something blatantly a different color, and I'm going to saturate the hell out of it. Actually, I'm going to make it more vibrant. So we're just going to do image adjustments, vibrance, and we're going to bring that vibrance all the way up, saturate a little bit. And like you could do anything you want. Once again, it's it's just a freaking texture file. But once you're you're satisfied with what you did, save it as a PNG. Now this next part, I had no guidelines or anything. I had to figure this out myself, and I'm really happy that I accidentally figured this out because otherwise I would have given up on trying to modify textures. But the next step is just to take your texture, drag and drop it here. And you're going to notice that the file format is DXT1, seven levels. So we're going to compress it to DXT. And by doing this, we're actually making it the same size or smaller than the original file, which is exactly what we want. Now notice that it's one level. That doesn't matter. I haven't had a problem with that. Just make sure you choose compressed. Don't edit the texture name or anything. As long as you didn't change the name earlier, you're good to go. And press add. Now we have two files and they're kind of conflicting like one is our file and the other is you know the, the game's file really simply just click on the original and press delete now control s to save and you're done you did it control s to save i honestly didn't know if that worked until i mean you could test it out if you reopen the file it's still modified so we actually did modify the r dot rwtx file just crazy like we, we did it it's done um, we can re-import now. So we're going to go to Quick BMS, re-import, and we're going to choose BFBB mod, go to our boot hips and hops, or no, 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 don't do that yet. <laughs> go to our SpongeBob scripts, choose the hop script. Now we can go to game files, 
and choose um, the boot dot hip and now we can go to BFPV mod and choose um, boot hips and hops are modded hips and we're going to reimport obviously Mr. Krabs' text reimported fine it did earlier but the wooden tiki did as well which is perfect so if you're as excited as I am open up dolphin open your boot.dol and let's take a look at how battle for bikini bottom looks now man I wish this started up faster wouldn't that be great but removing the opening cutscenes makes it a lot easier to mod it trust me it's very nice So, you probably saw it on the intro, but there you go. These are the tiki's now. They're just like radiant pink tiki's. It's pretty cool. They look very out of place because they're very vibrant. But I mean, you could do whatever you want. You don't have to just change the color. You can change the entire tiki's look itself. But that's how every tiki in the game is going to look now. And Patrick's text, like the last time, is still modified. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of potential there. You can modify just about anything in the boot.dol file. And when I say just about anything, there's some really, really great things. You can just change and, and then, boom, your mod already has, like, some sort of character to it. So we go to the boots, hips, and hops. Go to the fresh hips. You'll see we have... Make sure these are sorted. They are sorted. Okay. Go down to RWTX files. Shiny flower, um, we have Spongebob, Spongebob's tongue you could change, Patrick's sock you could change, the ice you could change, invisible wall, I wouldn't change that, but you can change it if you want. You could change the hand that grabs you to whatever you want, the glove that shows up when Sandy like tries to grab something. You could change um, the bubble, the cruise bubble, Spongebob's bubble wand. You can even change Spongebob, which I'll show you which file that is because it took me a little bit to find but when I found it I was very happy here it is CR underscore SB05 this is Spongebob's character file so you can copy that over change his character texture and like that's I think that's awesome so after you modify every single texture in there you'll notice hey how come some of these textures are still the same though why is Patrick's rock normal I changed everything I could why is Patrick still look like what he does why does Mr. Krab still look like what he does? And the answer to that is the creators of this game are lazy. And as a result, it kind of screws up the modding community a little bit. And I'll show you why. You could change the boot file, everything in it, but it won't change certain things like robot textures. You could change the wooden tiki. And now like one easy texture change, boom, every wooden tiki in the game is changed. That's awesome. However, what if you wanted to change all the thunder tiki's? If you wanted to change every Thunder Tiki in the game, you would have to extract the hop for every single level in the game and change the Thunder Tiki in every single level. Because for some reason the developers made it, so certain things are different for every level. Every Sleepy Time texture is different for every level. If I change the texture in Rock Bottom 1, it's going to be normal in Rock Bottom 2 unless you change it for all of them. And this is why when I made my mod people were a little disappointed that more stuff wasn't changed. It could take weeks, days, years to change everything in this game because the developers didn't make it so things that are consistent aren't consistent. Like, it makes sense. Like, okay, the level is different for everything, so all the textures that are in the level, like Patrick's Rock, should be specific to Patrick's, you know, the hub level. But sleepy times are all over the game. Why would they make it so the sleepy time robot's texture can only be changed in each individual level? That's, that's so dumb. It's cool though because you can, you know, make sleepy times in certain levels look different. I mean, that's pretty cool. I guess you have more freedom to mod that way. But at the same time, if you just wanted to change all the sleepy times at once and then just be done, you can't do that. You have to go into every single level, which sucks. So you're going to want to choose at least for me, if you're going to be modding textures and having fun with that, choose levels that you go into a lot. Choose hub levels like, you know, the main hub. That's a great level to to modify. People go in there all the time. Choose, um, I don't know, choose 
boss levels. Boss levels are really significant. People notice the texture changes there more than Sand Mountain, for example. So before I end this tutorial, I'm gonna just gonna do a quick extract of one more level. We're gonna do the hops. Um, we're gonna do the hubs hop. So now that you're modifying textures, it's important I tell you that all the texture files, except for boot, I don't know why, all the texture files except for boot are in the hop file. So we're going to have a fresh hop, and we're going to have the fresh, we're going to have modded hop for the hub. And we're going to run quick BMS again. Choose the, the usual script we choose. Choose the hub now. However, this time when we go to our game files and choose the hub, make sure you choose the hop file, not the hip file. We're gonna go back and go into um, our hub, hips and hops. Go to our, our modded hop. And now we're in our modded hop. And not our modded hop, don't do that. Go to our fresh hop. Save it in our fresh hop. It's all done. There you go. Less files, more space, that's just because they're all textures. So now we can open up our hub hips and hops. We'll go to our modded, our fresh hops, my bad. Do our normal sort by that we do. And here we go, we have everything that you can change in the hub. The dumpster textures here. Um, the treasure chest, I'm not really sure where that is. It's somewhere though. It's probably like the chest outside the Dutchman's graveyard. Um, the taxi for every level. If you change this once, you're good to go. Um, my favorite thing to change here are the signs. So like the Gulagoon signs are fun to change. Um, Kelp Forest sign, yada, yada, yada. Shiny objects, you can change their models here. Oh, these are all model files, my bad. Um, Bubble Buddy's texture is here. You can change that. There's a, the taxi texture boat taxi texture change the buttons you know this is the green version of it so after you hit it a lot of this self-explanatory and you, I mean you gotta explore these are the balloons above Spongebob's house so pick and choose the major ones like if you change if you change electrical pole single no one's gonna notice that when you're, they're playing the game but if you change um, plankton everyone's gonna notice like plankton's different if you change SpongeBob's house, everyone's gonna notice that it's Patrick's rock. This is the jellyfish texture. Like I said earlier, all the enemies' textures are for some reason in each level individually. So if you change the, the jellyfish here, it's not gonna change everywhere else. But you can make the jellyfish be blue, like no name or you know whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Um, a cool thing to change too is the sign for the taxi. Here you go, taxi sign. If you change this, all the taxis throughout the entire level will change. So look for textures that are either repeated or textures that are major, like, like the chum bucket. And you can change them. And just do what we did earlier. You open it up, you change the texture, and you re-import it. That's, um, that's it for texture modding. So the next video, we're going to touch on changing warps and stuff. Which was actually, like, in my opinion, my favorite part of the, the mod I made. Having weird warps or whatever you want. Level cloning yada 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 so thanks for tuning in um check out the next episode